If you're thinking about painting your countertops, I'm gonna show you some great tips on how to create a great look of some granite or stone on your countertop. This is the look that we're going after. This is called Fantasy Granite. First thing you need to do if you're painting your countertops is you need to clean them thoroughly using our deglosser. We painted this with our color linen. So we've got on uh, two coats of linen on top of this. We're gonna work right on this dried paint. We just painted this about 30 minutes ago. So it's just now drying and ready to go. You're gonna get weathered wood antiquing gel. So what makes this different than paint is it's a semi-transparent look and that's what we're after when we make this stone look. And these lines going here and just giving us that little bit of sheerness to create some reality in this. So there's several steps here. So uh, bear with me as we get going and I'll keep that so you can kind of see that. So I'm just gonna turn the weathered wood right up on my true applicator and this is one, don't get too scared and just kind of go with the flow. Now these kind of make some natural lines just like stone would do. And uh, you can just kind of see them coming off here so you don't have to worry yourself. And you're just gonna make some kind of fluid and natural lines in this thing. Kind of go over them just a bit, blend them out just a little and soften them. Just kind of like that. And uh, try that again, create some more. And they kind of follow each other. So wherever this kind of took a swipe this next line will do the same it doesn't have to match but they do kind of come similar to each other because it's from the layers of the earth and as granite was created it kind of builds up pressure and it creates these linear lines in stone and that's what you that's how you get granites and marbles and all of that so that's from the earth itself building up layers so that's how we're kind of trying to emulate that idea just running it right off the end here come right on over the edge of your countertop just so it looks real realistic just run it right off the edge up here I'm just going to add in a little here same thing here so not hard so you saw I made these swipes heavy now that my sponge has dried out a little I'm just continuing those nice little swipes and just kind of dry brushing with the true applicator. And I'm using whitewash yeah, antiquing gel. It's alright, the one's all I need. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna follow some of these lines and kind of do exactly just what I did here. Just whiten up some of these other areas. So I am going over the edge with my design just to make sure you kind of keep it all running together. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have a countertop edge that doesn't have anything on it. Just it's add in a little. No. When you do that, you just blur it right out. There's no rhyme or reason here. I'm just trying to show you something that looks organic. And that's what you're trying to create. Something that looks like it came out of nature, right? So that's going to be your backdrop. Now the fun is going to come in just a minute when we use the faux pas and that's going to give us a lot of that granite feel and stone look to this to where now this looks more just swipey. All rubbed black and it's going to add just a little bit of depth and you're going to go kind of light handed with this one and I've turned it right up onto the white so it's going to give me a little bit of softened areas. Just get a little of this in there, not a lot, not a lot. I'm just going to get this in every now and then. I'm going to take my roller and I'm going to roll this one out with my dry roller. Better give you very much an oyster look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm using a dry roller and I'm rolling over this. Dry and clean. And it's picking up some of the oil rub black, which is great because it's adding that tone to it. And even if you see little marks, like these little things that look kind of little thoughts. Don't worry about that. We're going right over that. So this is blending it out. All right. So there's our base. All right. Next is coming the fun part to me. Where we are. To the faux pas. And we're going to roll on right down the middle vein only. Okay. And I'm going to follow kind of where these lines meet each other. Just kind of start stamping there. I'm not putting it all over the whole thing. I just want that one larger vein to kind of show up. And, and you've got the weathered wood again? Weathered wood. Just kind of rolling it off here. And just line in the middle here where the two meet. It's kind of where I'm using this placement. You see what I'm saying? Where those dark and the light met.
little bit in there. These have some in them in the white areas. So I'm doing the whole paw here now. So I'm just using the whitewash antiquing gel, putting it on here. And you saw how long it's dried. It's not been dry a long time, so it doesn't have to be. And all these tools that you see Paula using, you're getting in your kit. Putting it on, we're gonna remove it in a soft swirl. Just got a dry cloth here. Now you're gonna think, oh, she's killing this off, but this is what makes it look realistic. It does, it does. Surely add to the realism of it. Mm -hmm. Makes it look like stone. So just kind of move these lines until you like what you see. The last and final hoorah here was to go back and uh, use the faux pas and put one little bit of on just the center vein alone and just stamp that. Just to give it just a little bit, just that next dimension back up. I mean, it does look pretty great. And then we just kind of dry rolled over that because it's the antiquing gel, it stays a little bit looser more than the paint would, so it's gonna stay wetter just a little longer. So that's the reason we're using the antiquing gel versus just, just the paint alone. And uh, you can just stop there or just keep on rolling, just and whatever. A lot of people are asking about metallic, so if you want a little bit of sparkle in yours, you can absolutely add in one of our metallic antiquing gels, like the gunmetal. That would be pretty here. Or maybe metal. a little bit of the pearl or something like that, absolutely. You can add metallics. That's You can do your, your own deal. And pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close. Not bad. There you go. That's it. Thank you all for watching here tonight as well. Don't forget to check out our bundle for the countertop that you just saw us do. You can do that by visiting our website at allinonepaint.com. We look forward to seeing you all later on in the weekend. Good night. Bye.